Alright, welcome back, gang, to the next episode here in our Dark Souls Remastered playthrough. Um, I just went ahead and uh, equipped the Great Magic Weapon, as well as I pulled out the Sorcerer's Catalyst, so just a staff from my bottomless box. Because um, when we put one more point into Intelligence, I'll actually be able to use a uh, Great Magic Weapon, just to buff our weapon a little bit more, pump out some more damage, and be a little bit more deadly. So... Uh, I figured, let's go this way, we're just gonna go down a little bit further into the demon ruins, and uh, there's actually a boss that's like almost immediately right here, so we'll, we'll fight that, and uh, I don't know what I'll do after that, I'm not quite sure what I want to quite do after this boss, but... Okay, let's rest just in case, heaven forbid, that we, we, <laughs> we die fighting this boss. Or I die from platforming, because, you know, track record. Man, I used to make fun of one of my best buds about that, that he's just terrible at platforming, and now I feel like I'm turning into him. Alright, good news though, if you're human, we can summon our buddy Solaire. Let's do that. It's always fun having a, having a sun bro at your side. There we go. Yay, praise the sun. Okay. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Centipede demon. All right. Uh, I I would encourage you just to move to the side, try to bait this thing to moving forward. Otherwise, he'll just keep doing that attack at Solaire. And uh, come on, Solaire. Yeah, he's just gonna keep doing that attack at Solaire. Oh damn it! I missed. And Solaire is not gonna take that much lava damage, so that's okay. Again. No, he got eaten. Nom, 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 which makes it the fight a little bit easier. And now we have the orange charred ring. So that actually... Let's see. Ugh. Now this will actually allow us to run in the lava without taking much damage. So all those items that were over by like those Taurus demons in the pool that the... Um, what's his name? Um... That ceaseless discharge was. Um, now we'll actually be able to go there. So you got him, but you got him. Nice job. Hmm. <laughs> All right. There you go. We got that. Took down that boss. A okay. And uh, the orange charred ring is what we got, which is awesome. It's a really handy handy ring, I mean, but though it only has a uh, limited, really, applications. It's not like it reduces incoming damage from fire from, like, another enemy. It just allows you, reduces uh, damage taken by lava. So it just allows you to traverse this kind of area. So I'll tell you what, let's go this way. And let's 
go ahead and light the next bonfire. It should be right around the corner. And let's go ahead and talk to our buddy Solaire. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. He's talking about his own son. Uh, Why? Yeah. Oh. He, he's getting a little bit more depressed and, uh, I, I guess, travel-weary that he hasn't been able to find his own redemption, his own son. Like his own fire, I guess. So... I gotta find a way to reduce my my equipment burden. Uh, Cause when I have the catalyst. Oh dang! Really? I can still. Oh man! I can still fast. Man. Okay. So two-handed, three fifty-five. Let's buff it. Four eighty-one. Nice. That's a decent amount of damage. Okay. So let's go ahead and rock this out. Mm, that's awesome. Tell you what, friends, I think uh, I think I think I may just keep pushing all the way up to get like thirty intelligence, so I could use the next highest magic-based buff for my weapon. But uh, I don't want to keep going this way. We can. I mean. Hmm. All right, you know what? We are gonna go this way. All right, let's let's just keep pushing forward this way. Let's put back on the orange charge ring, and we'll move further into uh, the chaos for this. nothing over there but this whole area within lost isolith and the chaos ruins it's littered with these uh like the second half of the the rotted dragons that we've seen so it's all the bottom half of them um there's a couple items that are like within the lava pools and such um i don't know i, I typically don't go after them um it just doesn't seem like that big of a reward to me compared to the risk. Um, the items, though, I believe it's just going to be like a, a divine blessing. That will be all the way to the right, tucked around one of these, uh, these dragon things. So, If you want to go get it, by all means, you are a <laughs> more dedicated gamer than I am, but I just I don't want to do that. Shit, you're alive. I was like, wait a minute, I saw you floating. I saw you like bobbing up and down. Right. Oh shit. Oh sh shit. Ah, uh, okay. And also fighting these things is they're it's terrible. So Alright, let's go backwards. Let's open this up. I don't remember. Soul of a great hero. Damn. Alright, so that's either like thirty or forty thousand souls. That's a lot. Uh So I don't pull that that leg and <laughs> those legs and tail thing again. So I don't want to pull that again. Yeah, let's go this way. The item in question is actually so. Eh, fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna go to it. I tout myself on being thorough, and I don't think I would be okay with just skipping an area, just because it's difficult. Divine blessing, <laughs> and a divine blessing. Yeah, all right. Like I said, I don't typically use divine blessings, but they can really help you out in a pinch, so... I 
there should be a bonfire, a hidden bonfire around here. I think it's right here, actually. Let's go ahead and attack this one. And it is awesome. All right. I'm really happy that we found that, just because um, this next boss that we're going to fight, it, uh, it, it can give a lot of people trouble. And when I say a lot of people, I mean me. Because <laughs> um, the boss fight, it's not exactly like... It's not exactly that like you're going to be fighting the boss. Um, it's more so you're going to be fighting the terrain being changed because of the boss. I know that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense right now as I'm trying to explain it, but you'll you'll see. Um, you'll see when we get there. But there shouldn't be any other items around here. But let's just check. Okay. And I don't think there's any other way to get over that way. Let's go ahead and loot this. Between humanities, okay. I'll tell you what, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and rest at this bonfire and then I'm gonna go ahead and kindle it. Because this is the closest bonfire that we're going to have to the next boss, like the boss of this area. There we go. Got ourselves at 10. Once we get through here and start making our way up this route, um, we can actually get rid of we can actually get rid of the orange charge ring. And I'm gonna put on the ring of evil eye, just that way I don't have to heal with an Estus. Despite having the dreaded medium roll. <laughs> Oh, the texture. Oh, that texture made me think it was like a meatball right there. If I remember correctly, this area should be filled with those meatballs. I see you, you little tricky bastard. Just kidding. <laughs> Clearly, I can't do a plunging attack. Son of a... But let's just quick... Uh, I guess I'm just going to try to kill, kill these guys so I can get my health back. Just from the ring. to do a showcase. How much is it? 169? What? I wonder if they're resistant to magic. Ooh, they might be resistant to magic. That stinks. But that's awesome. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I see you there, meatball. about this next thing. Large soul of a brave warrior, and then let's go look, see if I can attack this thing without my buff running out. Ah! That thing. I don't know what it's called. I have no idea what the hell that thing's called, but... 281. Alright, and then my buff ran out. Darn. Not bad, though. I'm really happy that we, I, uh, I only said we. I'm really happy we chose the Claymore. <laughs> uh, okay. If you can see, let's go ahead and turn it, there you go. There's an enemy at the top of the stairs, and you can see that they have a, uh, I think that's a, a pyromancy flame, like a glove in their right hand. So let's quick buff our weapon. And we're gonna go ham after this, this enemy. It's actually one of the Chaos Sisters. still alive we need to quick take her out oh no oh and here's the last spot that kirk invades us come here bud all right whatever sorry bud let's go 
We got the Isolith Catalyst, and we got some more humanity and some souls from Killing Kirk. Bad. All right, this thing hits pretty hard if it's not resistant to magic when I have the buff on. Chaos Fire Whip. Awesome. I don't think I need it. Nope. should beat the boss just yet just because I think there's another NPC around here their storyline their story arc should make it to about here motherfucker <laughs> that was fun but <laughs> I missed 210 I did more damage with no buff or you die from it in one swing how much was I doing with the magic 216 maybe Okay. There we go. All right. Don't go right. Um, don't go right there. Uh, the floor will break, and you'll get trapped down there. Uh, we're gonna go this way, actually. Right. Oh man. And there's actually a really hard hitting uh, demon titanite monster. And it stinks because there's so little space here and you can actually fall off the edge. Um, oh crud. Alright, here we go. This one, I believe this titanite demon will always respawn. So it's a good way to farm. a good way to farm um, the demon titanite. I think just strafing to the right is probably going to be my best. Bet. Eighty-one. That's it. All right. Well, at least one twenty-nine is a little bit more respectable. You die. Give me that precious titanite. Oh man, I've used a lot of Estus on this guy. Dang. Oh. Yes. Oh, jeez. And two demon titanite along with 5,000 souls. So. Uh. Two Twinkling Titanite, and if we hadn't done the cheese method here, um, Solaire, yep, there he is. Solaire would be hostile, but because we did the cheese method and we 
did the uh, poison surge or whatever, or poison spit, whatever it is, through the, the, uh, the door here, we were able to kill the sunlight maggot, which is this. If we don't kill the sunlight maggot, Solaire will actually be wearing the sunlight maggot on his head. He would have gone crazy, and then he would have attacked us. So we, uh, we saved him, essentially. But also, since we killed the sunlight maggot, as you can see, we have like the little orb above our head. It'll naturally, when worn as a hat, it'll naturally illuminate everywhere around us. So it's going to be a very important thing that we keep this, and we're going to use it when we get into uh, an underground tomb that is pitch black. Like, it, it's legit pitch black. It's very difficult to continue moving if you don't have a light source. So let's talk to Solaire, though. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. Was it all... Oh. Alright, so he's clearly down in the dumps. Uh, tell you what, friends, I think I'm actually just going to end the episode here. Um, the next part of our Lost Isolith Chaos Ruins, um, I'll be finishing up an NPC storyline, and then we're just going to go ahead and take out the boss um, of this area, which is actually a soul of a great one. So it's one of the main bosses of the game. So I will just see you all then. All right, take care, friends. Bye-bye.